Okay, so I'm having a problem with this uh, PC here. Let me go and show you what version it is. Oh, oops. Okay. Uh, it's a tablet. It's a... Uh, Two-bit operating system, desktop. I don't even know why it says desktop because this is a tablet. Um, it, it used to work like a tablet when I first got it. A buddy of mine actually gave this to me. Pretty cool dude. But uh, uh, shortly after he gave it to me, the touch screen stopped working. I'll show you here. Like when I touch up in this corner, that's where it goes. So if I touch down in this corner, and everything's just all opposite, you know, just perfectly opposite actually. See? So I can actually click up here and hit, get into the windows. Like I clicked on the windows icon down here, but oops. So it's not working right. I have I have reinstalled Oh my well, usually device manager just shows up when I hit when I type in device. Now I gotta type in the whole word. Alright. <clears throat> <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Alright, I reinstalled the Goodix Touch HD. And I also reinstalled the HID compliant touchscreen. I, I uninstalled both of those. I un uninstalled this first, the HID compliant touchscreen. And it just uninstalled. And then when I uninstalled the Goodix Touch, HID. Uh, it said there's a problem with my computer and it restarted and automatically reinstalled that stuff. Um, so I did that. I also <clears throat> I also calibrated the um, the touch screen here, you know, blah, blah, blah. So since everything was opposite, like I touch in this corner, but it actually acts as if I touched in this corner. So I thought if I calibrate it opposite, then it should basically correct itself, you know, and I would just have to calibrate opposite. But actually, the calibration does not work like that, which is kind of ridiculous. And there's no reverse, like reverse touch, whatever, you know? Uh, so that when I touch up here, it actually touches up here. So we're going to exit out of that. But that's pretty much the problem I'm having with this device. I think I started out on Windows 8. With this tablet and then an automatic update updated it to windows 10 <clears throat> if i'm not mistaken that's what happened but anyway after an automatic update i it started acting like this this was a while ago so if anybody knows any kind of issue or fix that i haven't done uh, maybe you can let me know thanks